Hello and welcome. Balanced and unbalanced cables. What are they? What are the differences between the two? And what are they used for? Balanced and unbalanced are two different types of audio cable. This is what they typically look like. Starting with the unbalanced cables. Here are the red and white RCA connectors that are found at each end of one type of unbalanced cable. These are consumer level cables that are usually found on your home audio equipment. Another unbalanced cable has this connector. This is the quarter inch jack plug. These are used on musical instruments like keyboards and electric guitars. Taking a closer look inside the unbalanced cable, we will find two wire conductors, the ground and the signal. Removing the outer protective plastic housing, you can see the copper wire strands. These run along the length of the entire cable. This is the ground. It also acts as a protective shield in the cable. Revealing a little more inside, you can see that there is another element to the cable. There is another wire that runs inside this red plastic covering. Inside is the source signal, which also runs along the entire length of the cable. This carries the musical signal from the source to its destination. The outer ground shield protects the musical signal wire from unwanted external mains electrical hum or radio interference noise. This shield is not the best and it isn't great at eliminating unwanted noise. The problem with all of these wires in these cables is that they can pick up mains hum from electrical cables and other transmitting interference noise. And as these cables are used for audio purposes, you don't want interference noise to invade your sound, which is why unbalanced cables perform better in shorter lengths. In longer lengths, their noise protection is even less effective. Now looking at balanced cables. These cables are found in more commercial environments where sound performance is an extremely high priority. Typically, you'd find these in live stage performances, music production and recording studios, PA systems, and they're also used to connect microphones. These cables are favored because they produce low interference noise, and they are the choice when much longer cable runs are necessary. One popular balanced audio connector is an XLR. Another balanced connector again is the quarter inch jack plug, but this is different to the unbalanced quarter inch plug. Looking closer at both, at the ends of the plugs, you can identify the difference between the two. The unbalanced plug has a tip and a sleeve, which is separated from each other, here, resulting in it being referred to as a TS connector. The balance plug has a tip, a ring and a sleeve and called a TRS connector. If you look at an XLR connector, you can see the ground pin and two signal pins. The balance cable has a ground and shield, similar to the unbalanced cable, but inside there are two signal wires. These two signal wires carry identical copies of the source or musical signal. The first wire carries the signal and the second wire also carries the signal, but it is inverse of the first signal. In other words, it travels flipped out of phase by 180 degrees. When the two identical signals travel together out of phase in this way, when combined, they cancel each other out and are silent. So this is what the signal wires look like when they are traveling in phase. They run similar to each other. And this is how they travel when they are running out of phase by the 180 degrees. So this is how they run when they can be heard. And this is how they run when they cancel each other out and combined they are silent. Unwanted interference noise can still be picked up by a balanced cable and both signal wires will pick it up at the same time.
Because the noise will be common to both signals, or captured and added to both, this interference noise will travel along both signal wires and will be in phase and can be heard. At the destination or end of the cables, something happens. Remember that the signals were traveling out of phase. Well, at the end of the cable or the destination, that inverse out of phase signal is flipped back into phase and now both signal wires can be heard. Now, remember the noise that was common to both cables. That was in phase and could be heard. Now that the out of phase signal wires are flipped back and they're in phase and can be heard, the noise is now flipped out of phase. So the noise now at the destination cannot be heard and is silent. So now at the end of the cable, you get the musical signal without the interference noise. Balanced cables are the best choice if you need a clean signal with low noise. Unbalanced cables are much cheaper than balanced cables. Balanced cables are not always XLR to XLR or TRS to TRS. You can get XLR to TRS. And if you connect an RCA connector to an XLR adapter, it does not make it balanced. Thank you for listening and watching and keep on. Yeah.